What's going on everybody? Uh, today we are here in some MXGP21. <laughs> so there is a lot of things I want to talk about this game today. Um, a lot of good things actually, actually as a matter of fact. So <clears throat> as we all know uh, in, in recent times, in recent years, uh, this game hasn't been uh, the very best uh, since MXGP3. <laughs> but I um, came back to MXGP21 because I've been hearing some some rumors and everything like that that this game has been catching on some steam again um, and I'm actually starting to see why so I think I've uh, I've uploaded a video of this game a long time ago when it first released uh, which was a few years ago and since then this game actually feels a lot more better uh, than I remember. So, so we are racing, um, one of, um, uh, I hate this track, this is one of my most least favorite tracks in this game. I'm actually gonna, probably going to be doing a, a uh, tier, uh, tier listings for the, all these tracks. Um, of my favorite, least favorite tracks. So I might do that. I might do something like that. But uh, so as I was saying, uh, this game feels a lot better uh, than I actually first remember it to be. Um, <clears throat> like any other uh, milestone game, you have to. A lot of the time, you use the rewind uh, to reset yourself from a lot of weird bugs, or than trying to rewind from your mistakes uh, it, you guys will know what I'm talking about there there's bound to be bugs and everything so overall this game right here to me it feels a lot like MXGP3 and MXGP Pro mashed together if that kind of makes sense so this this the game actually feels very good in that term aspect. So back in back then, uh, the game was so twitchy. It was so uh, slow and everything like that. But I'm not sure if they ended up doing an update uh, for the physics or uh, an update to the dirt or tires or something like that. But this feels a lot better than it did back then when I used to play this game because I one of the main reasons why I stopped playing because it's because it was so twitchy. Um but nowadays when I'm when I recently just started uh, playing this game again the the bike feels a lot more smoother it feels a lot more in control um I'm actually hitting the tracks a lot better than what I used to on this game because I don't know if I ever uploaded it or anything like that but I've never been very good at these MXGP games because of the simple fact that these games were always so twitchy there was always something buggy about them especially 2019 2019 was horrendous um but it, this this game has uh, come to realize that th this game feels a lot more better than it did than when I played it, so that's always good. So the next the next thing is the terrain deformation. So as you guys all know that the terrain deformation isn't always the best in these games, especially when uh, people talk about oh it's you know it's not. It's not physical, it's always visual aspect and everything like that, but um, most of the time, you're going too fast to be able to feel this at all. Um, but this time around in MXGP 21, the terrain deformation don't feel like it's like a, a physical challenging thing. It's more like that it... How, how would I want to say it? It's more like it's... It twitches the bike around a little bit. So if 
if milestone would have did the thing with uh, the train information where it dug down and built up uh, with the train information, then I do feel like that this train information actually would have been very good. Um, this ain't no like mind blowing thing whatsoever. Um, with the terrain deformation, but it's, but you can tell it's definitely a physical thing. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. You can tell it's definitely a physical thing. It's not like, it's not like, oh, you're gonna, you know, hop around and everything or, you know, go through everything. No, it, it don't work like that, but you can definitely catch in the ruts uh, at slower speeds. Uh, if you guys do watch the video and everything, that you guys will definitely see that uh, the bike do does catches in in the ruts and everything, and sometimes just a little bit while you're going through at a low speed, you can definitely tell that um, your tires hop out of ruts and everything like that. Like you can physically see it, and you can physically feel it sometimes. So that brings me to another thing. So this is this aspect of the video is actually going to be quite interesting, um, probably for most of you, which is your the way how you look, uh, the way you look at your writers when you're playing. So if anybody plays a lot of motor games, like everybody will know that a lot of every a lot of people look at. Uh, maybe let's say towards the back uh, of your rider where your number is and uh, just kind of use your peripheral vision But this time around I'm actually sometimes catching myself uh, Looking at the rear tire and sometimes just just ahead of you uh, Where the ruts are like right now. I'm looking at where the ruts are going uh, Probably just above where the helmet is just above the helmet I was just kind of looking at the lines and when I'm going through corners I find myself looking down at the rear tire which is kind of which is kind of strange uh, it's it's interesting to me because you know, a lot of us just, uh, look at back of the rider and everything like that but uh, I'm looking at two places simultaneously uh, sometimes if I am looking at the rider I'm looking more at the waist uh, between the uh, lower back and the bottom area uh, just actually in between that area um, when I'm playing or something like that because so I'm watching more of the, the hip the hip movement more than the legs and the body so that's kind of weird because this game makes me you know look at uh, look at everything all around me and everything which is which is uh, a lot of it don't come like that in other games which I think makes it a little bit of a unique aspect for this game um, I know it's probably uh, not a not a common thing uh, for people to talk about other games like this uh, but it, I think it's an interesting thing that I noticed with all of that good aspects. So I haven't done uh, 450 yet, so I still don't know uh, how the 450s feel yet. All I know is that this this bike is fully upgraded. I have tires, suspension, and everything like that. So, um, so I'm still going through, still going through, and everything on the 250. Probably going to have to do another season because I can't. <laughs> I don't have points lead, so I'm not going to be able to move forward onto the 450 class, but um, I think that's about it for this video. Um, there's not, I don't think there's anything else that I'm missing uh, in this video. Uh, if I do, I will probably end up uh, writing it in text on the video or something like that, but I think that's about it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, Give it a like and subscribe. Let me know what you down. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. See ya. I don't care. That's a wrap.